And there you can see on your screen, this is a view from Dragon approaching the International Space Station. You can see how close it is. You can begin to see those details on the station and looking straight ahead in the center of your screen um, was the International uh, Docking Adapter. And this view from inside Dragon Endurance itself. So these are our uh, four crew members. You can only see the commander and pilot right now, Jasmine McBelly and Andreas Mogensen, just monitoring the approach on those crew display panels. Again, they are not making commands at this point. Um, additionally, at that two meter, uh, two meters away from the space station, we hear the chop call, at which point they should not send any commands. Right now, we are at 23 meters from the space station, continuing to close in on that zenith port of node two. Down toward the bottom of your screen, you can see the nose cone of Dragon Endeavor, which brought the crew seven or crew six astronauts to the International Space Station. So we're expecting to hear the call for waypoint two shortly, where we will do a brief pause before moving in towards the docking port. Also a cool thing in this view is Dragon is now directly above the International Space Station. And you can tell in the view because you can see the clouds on Earth in the background. And it looks like we have reached that 20 meter waypoint two mark. Station, Houston on the big loop. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Monitor for steps five and six in one decimal one zero two dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Sensation copies all. All right, confirmation from Amy Dill, the Capcom in Mission Control Houston to the crew. Uh, that they are moving in for docking. So we are now 17, oh, 16 meters away from the International Space Station. Again, continuing slowly into the Node 2 Zenith port for docking today. It's such a cool view, it almost feels like we're on Dragon approaching the International Space Station. <laughs> Space Station and Dragon now flying over Australia. And Dragon just 13 meters away. Again, a very methodical and careful approach to our docking port. Great views coming from Dragon this morning as we get ready to welcome four new crew members to the orbiting laboratory. Dragon is at 10 meters. Copy, 10 meters. And we are just moments away from Dragon docking with the International Space Station. First will be a soft capture, and then there will be 12 hooks uh, deploying six at a time to create that hard capture between the vehicle and the station. Dragon now just seven meters away, now six meters away from the no to <laughs> port. Five meters. Copy five. 
that call coming from Dragon Commander Jasmine Mogbelli, her first space flight to the International Space Station. Standing by for the call of crew hands off point or chop. Copy chop. One meter. And Dragon, we see soft capture complete and attenuation will begin shortly. I can copy. And contact confirmed, 616 AM Pacific time, 261. Arriving. 261 statute miles over Australia. Hi, thank you for the welcome. And that welcome coming from the crew aboard the International Space Station. <laughs> Endurance has arrived with its international crew. They will uh, begin the hard capture sequence shortly, but we are now up to 11 crew members on the International Space Station after they float through the hatch this morning. And on the big loop, ring retraction is in progress. Ring copy is ring retraction in progress. Now, again, we don't have views right at this moment of Dragon on the International Space Station, but we did see that docking at, again at 6.16 a.m. Pacific time as the International Space Station and Dragon were flying 261 statute miles over Australia. And there's still a few steps to complete before Dragon is securely attached to the station. Uh, that is, we've now done uh, the soft capture, but then there will be the completion of the soft capture ring retraction, as well as hard capture sequence beginning, and then finally hard dock completing. And again, that will require 12 hooks to deploy, again, six at a time will deploy to make that hard capture uh, completion. Of course, once we have a successful hard capture, it still is gonna take a little bit before we see our crew members float through the hatch into the International Space Station and officially bring us up to that total of 11, at least for about the next few days or so. Uh, we will first pressurize the vestibule. Well, Woody Hoberg will open the station side of the hatch. He will pressurize the vestibule, the space between both of those hatches, the Dragon hatch and the station hatch, bringing that to the same pressure as is inside Dragon and the space station. It's much of what we are used to here on Earth. Eventually they will uh, bring the crew members aboard. Again, they will give us a welcome ceremony. We'll get to see them and hear their first remarks about their visit to the space station, maybe what the ride was like. Then they will move right into work. They will start their safety briefing with the crew, making sure that they remember all their training from the ground, get brought up to speed on the International Space Station itself. <laughs> 